in this video here we're going to be uh, detailing this little thing called light and sight and you can see the way it actually curves light when you're when you're looking through it it's kind of neat and what this does is since I'm pushing 64 no matter what I do inside my FJ my head's always too high to see the traffic lights this goes on just with water there's no adhesive it's smooth um, on one side and it's got these lines on the other that bend the light and that way even at my height I'll be able to finally see the light without having to bend down and go forward um, there were some clowns on some other websites that talked about well if you can't see the light uh, you're too far forward I'm talking about being one full car length behind the stop sign a stop line and I still can't see the light so for those guys that don't know what they're talking about um, that's not what it is at all uh, it's basically the fact that the um, ceiling or the top of the glass or the roof line is actually too short. A long time ago, back in the 40s and 50s, uh, there are some cars that you'll see at classic car shows that had kind of like a, a visor that they would stick on the outside that goes over the windshield to block out the sun, but at the same time that made it hard for them to see the traffic light. So there was kind of like this glass prism with lines and stuff and a nice chrome base that was on there. You can actually uh, probably Google that and you'll see what I'm talking about. But it did the same thing. Instead of uh, a bunch of fine lines, it had uh, probably about eight glass lines in there. And that's so the guys could actually see the light. So this will be the same thing. Uh, it was more than worth the uh, $20. Now I don't have to lean forward, bend down, and look up you know, like, a, like a weird guy trying to see the light. And uh, I can get this on there. The neat thing is, again, there's no adhesive. It peels right off. And um, I honestly cannot wait uh, to use this. There's a YouTube video, Light and Sight. You can go ahead and Google that um, or do a YouTube search on it. And you can go to this site. And, of course, they give you an example uh, on how it works and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And, again, this goes in my field of vision but at the top. So it's not right in front of me. It's at the very top of the windshield. And this should bring the traffic lights down for me. I'm going to give it a good soak and uh, something to remember, it, it doesn't cost that much. I always have a couple gallons of distilled water in the house. That way, as it evaporates, it doesn't leave any film, any residue, any minerals. And at the same time, it's actually better for whatever material it, it's touching. So I'm going to go ahead and soak this and then get it up in the, uh, up in the position inside my vehicle. Okay, and there it is installed right there. And you can see where I have a Genesee and some other fun stuff up on the wall. And uh, you can't see it from in here, but if you bend way down, it's up there. So from sitting in here, you can't see it. But looking through the uh, the device there, you can see it's actually brought everything down. So it'll be neat to finally be able to see the traffic lights uh, with my height. Again, it's not right in my way, and it's at the top of the window. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So looking forward to seeing how this thing performs on the road. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. And there's the outside there. It's at the very top of the window. Uh, again, it's a little cloudy, they say, and it did, uh, once all the water behind it evaporates, it'll basically uh, dry up. I might even slide that up just a pinch. But uh, that's it from the outside. It's not in my field of vision, which is nice. And like I said, I can finally see the traffic lights. And what the heck, after a while, if I don't like it, I can just peel it off. But I think I'm really going to like this. And with the light off without the glare, and you can see it, it's right at the top. Okay, I'll overlap that uh, black strip that's on the top of the windshield by, you know, I don't know, that could be an eighth of an inch. And again, uh, it's going to be take a while to get used to, but when I start seeing traffic lights for the first time without having to have my wife in the right seat, who's a lot shorter than me, uh, let me know when the light's green or having to bend forward, uh, I'm going to be so glad I have that. So... That's it for this one here. Again, uh, Light and Sight. You can pull up uh, a YouTube video. You can actually Google. It's lightandsight.com. Uh, the site itself, and they have some pictures, and they've got like a little video and stuff too. But uh, that's it. That's